Have you ever thought you saw your guardian angel? Our Abby Larico joins us now with a story that's very powerful. It's a vision captured in a photograph. Good morning, Abby. Hey, good morning, Rennie. So here's a story I promise will pull at the heartstrings, but in a good way. Now you may have seen this particular photo in your feed recently. It's gone viral, opening a conversation about the healing and reluctant hope that come after losing a child. You might see a picture of loss, a baby girl gazing where her twin brother should be. But Heather Bowman thinks her daughter sees something else. Her garden angel was right there with her. What? Bowman's waited her whole life for those tears because she shed so many of her own to get here. A loss is a loss and you don't ever get over it. You just get through it. With help from friends, but, um, family, and photographer Jessica no. Young. But I definitely wanted to do something I nowhere near what she's gone through, but I had a loss as well, so I understand. A loss is a loss, regardless. Right. Um, yeah. I understand the need to have something to visually remind you that that baby existed. This is my son Buchanan's. Like these tattoos. And this is my daughter Leonor. Of tiny feet that never got a chance to grow. Their initials I added to their footprints. Bowman there. conceived and lost her first set of twins shortly after she started working with a fertility specialist. In her late 30s, she turned to IVF. We have twins on both sides of my family, so I always thought weirdly innately that it would be me. I was again pregnant with twins. But from there, hers is an unlikely story. She'd call her son James and her daughter Letty. A series of rare complications, including a uterus half its normal size, meant a tough go for all three. The other doctors had suggested I reduce a baby and they wanted me to reduce my daughter because she was the one that was the slower one to develop. Reduce a baby is basically abort the baby. And I it goes against everything I stand for. She wanted to give both babies a fighting chance until the appointment. The sonographer was doing the ultrasound and she did my daughter's and it's like, oh, heartbeat's great. And then she didn't say anything about my son's. And I said, well, what, what was my son's? He didn't tell me that. And she's like, I'm sorry, but there's no heartbeat. And I said, what? I, what? what? There wasn't enough blood flow for both of them. James wouldn't survive, but somehow Letty was getting stronger. I can't let this overcome me because this could affect my daughter. I had her to, to bring into this world and make sure she got here. She got here February 12th, five pounds, 11 ounces. Bowman delivered James the same night. That I think almost was better because I still felt like he was a part of us and that he was, you know, he gave his life to help his sister get here. So. <laughs> I don't know how how you, you know, go through all that and still remain so positive. And I think that will always stick with me. When Bowman hired Young to take Letty's newborn pictures, the photographer saw an opportunity and to honor I James. Started, the wheel started turning right away that I wanted to do something special. Even with all of the planning, nobody could have staged this. I was like, oh my God, this could not have been better. And, you know, she was looking over it, where he would be, which made me feel so good. And it just gave me a lot of sense of, of peace. And she kept looking over there. Yeah, yeah, she, she wouldn't stop. You know, because I started with her head up and she was like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Letty may have seen her brother, but when the photo went online, thousands of people saw the unbreakable connection between family in this life and the next. To me, it's helpful to talk about. This whole thing is pretty awesome. Now, she also says the picture has provided a platform on which people can talk about their own experiences with loss and infertility, but she also credits Facebook groups and connecting with others who are experiencing the same kind of complications with helping her find clarity. So if you know someone or you yourself are experiencing some difficulties, we have links to different resources right now on KSDK.com. It's a wonderful story to tell.